Welcome back. Today at the UNR campus, University Police started cracking down on biking and skateboarding violations. Mm -hmm. I've almost gotten hit, I'm not gonna lie, by a skateboarder. Who right could hit the... you? Well, because it's there's a corner right by the journalism <laughs> building when I go in, <laughs> And this guy, it's the same guy, comes down and is like, whoa! Same guy every time? It's the same guy all the time, because we our schedules line up anyway. All right, guy, you're on blast. You're here. on blast, man. Anyway, we all know the student population is growing in size, but also are the concerns about the ability to travel safely around the campus. Ryan Canada has the story. The biggest concern is that these speedy travelers are going to run into people who are walking to class. On this hill right here behind me, people have been seen going more than 30 miles per hour on their bikes and their skateboards. That's 15 over the speed limit. Riding a bike to class is more than just a means of transportation for some UNR students. It's a lifestyle. It's the fastest way to campus for me. It's about a 15 minute ride to and from campus. I think uh, bike is a great way to get around campus and meet friends and uh, either just get to the library. But riding a high-speed vehicle around large groups of people can come with certain responsibilities. Just be mindful of all these dismount areas. University police are encouraging all members of the campus community to use this type of equipment as a way to get around. I think overwhelmingly people want to be bike friendly. But at the same time, certain rules need to be followed, and campus police are keeping a sharper eye out for violators because of a recent string of complaints and injuries. Where to walk through, um, where they are permitted to ride, uh, and, and then just a little bit about speeds and, and safety. Violations of university policy can lead to a $100 fine, but rather than having to charge people for disobeying the rules, UNR police hope people will instead educate themselves on what's safe. I do my best to stay off the sidewalk and on the bicycle path areas as much as possible. For more information about university bike policies and links to a map that show you where you can ride and where you need to dismount, you can find all of that on our website, ktvn.com, under the blue news links button. Covering the story at the University of Nevada, Ryan Kennedy, Channel 2 News.